In this part of Easy Ballistics tutorial, we are about to take a look at bullet collision settings. So let's open up our bullet blueprint. I'm going to open a full editor so it looks more like what you'd typically see. Let's go to impact settings and we're going to go through those parameters one by one. So, grazing angle exponent is uh, hard to explain. Uh, best explanation would be probably that it is how shallow uh, the angle of impact has to be before it counts as a grazing impact. Minimum and maximum penetration are how deep uh, the bullet can go into uh, an object. These values are for point blank shot or a shot that's going at, at muzzle velocity. Of course, if it slows down, then uh, this will, would be reduced accordingly. Next, we have normalization. This is sort of um, how much the bullet uh, digs into, into material. It's rather hard to explain, so I'll, mm, I'll show it instead. So if we set it to zero, and I'll also zero out uh, angle randomization. And now, if I shoot through some material, the bullet will lose some energy, but its path will, sorry, it bounced. Its path will mostly remain the same. However, if it's set to some value, some positive value, let's say one, the bullet will dig into material and it will change direction. It is possible to set this value separately for head-on hits or grazing hits. And here we can uh, also set the amount of uh, randomness in uh, entry or and exit angle. Next, uh, we have a ricochet probability. Uh, this only matters if the bullet doesn't penetrate and you can uh, set this probability separately for head-on and grazing hits, same as with, let's say, normalization. And uh, uh, restitution is the amount of uh, energy that the bullet will keep after bouncing. Higher number means uh, it will lose less energy and friction is um, how much it uh, resists uh, sliding along along the surface uh, i'll show it in an example for example here's how a bullet with zero restitution and zero friction behaves it will not bounce but it will slide along the material like this and if we set friction to one or to maximum it won't be able to slide or bounce at all and it will be automatically despawned and with uh, higher restitution let's say one the bullet will bounce and it will lose uh, less energy and uh, with uh, ricochet we can uh, also set spread or randomization of bounce angle and finally we have an uh, option called uh, speed controls ricochet probability which when enabled causes uh, slower bullets to be more likely to bounce and finally the add impulse options uh, causes uh, each impact to impart uh, its momentum to the to the object it hit. This is only relevant if uh, the impacted object has enabled physics. And with uh, impulse multiplier, you can adjust the amount of energy that will be that will be transferred into the physics object. Uh, typically, in real world uh, situations, this will be less than one because some of the energy will be lost uh, by deforming the object and here you can see that 
it causes physics object to bounce. It's a bit uh, exaggerated in this example because the that crate has uh, only one kilogram. If it's something that has, so let's say, the mass of typical human, it won't really do all that much. Uh, here we have some additional collision settings, most important of which is the trace channel. It um, defaults to world static. What uh, this means is that, let's say we have object here and in um, its collision response, it's set to block world static, which means that this bullet will be able to collide with it. However, what uh, I recommend doing is going to project settings, to collision, and to create a new custom uh, trace channel that will be only for bullets. So let's just call it bullet, like this. And now for each object, you can uh, set collision uh, preset to custom. And hold on a second, I need to save this and select it again. And now we have a um, new trace response here called bullet. And if we set them this to ignore, and in uh, our bullet, we set the trace channel to bullet. The object that's set to ignore this trace channel will not respond to bullets and the bullet will not respond to it. It will behave as if it wasn't there. Another thing you can set under collision is uh, whether to trace uh, complex. This means that uh, instead of uh, just uh, using the objects uh, hit box, it will trace against uh, its polygonal mesh. And next we have a trace async. This will allow bullets to collide with the physics uh, asynchronous scene, which is typically used for things like uh, debris. So if you don't want your bullet to get blocked by uh, destructible object debris, then uh, you can turn this off. Collision margin is uh, how much will the bullet be pushed away from object after bounce or after penetration. This is to prevent uh, glitching due to floating point precision. Uh, typically 1.0 is a good value unless your game uses like a significantly different scale from default. And the spawn velocity is the minimum velocity that the bullet can have um, after impact before despawning. In other words, if the bullet penetrates or bounces but does have uh, less velocity than this, it will be uh, despawned anyway. And last thing I'm going to show you is how to how to change uh, these parameters based on what object got impacted, or rather what physics material got impacted. Now, I have to apologize uh, for a typo here. It's going to be changed in the next version. Please ignore. Uh, so anyway, if we want to vary these uh, impact responses based on what uh, material go got impacted, we need a couple of things. First of all, we need to create a material response library. So this is done by right-clicking um, here into Content Browser and go to Miscellaneous, Data Asset, and here under All Classes you can select EB Material Response like this. So here's our new data asset. 
next thing we need to create is a new physics material like this and let's say we are going to make mm, this wall in here bulletproof so this new material will be called let's say armor and now let's assign that physics ma material on to that wall like this now let's open this um, new data asset that we just created and let's add a new entry into it like this open it and here we have physical material here we are going to select our armor physical material like this and let's make it let's say 10 times uh, more resistant to bullets than the default one so let's set penetration depth to 0.1 like this let's save it and uh, now we can open the bullet and assign this material response to it like this by the way you can have uh, multiple files like this and each bullet class can use different one so you can have for instance some sort of special bullet that ignores this armor anyway let's see if it works yeah as you can see here this wall is now impenetrable and if we remove the armor material from it the bullets go through just fine and there's another possibility how to set those physics material for this you need to have trace complex enabled uh, in your bullet and now you can open up a visual material like let's say this one and assign physics material to it like this for instance and now all objects that use this visual material will also behave as if they were armored I think that's all for collisions. If you have any questions, please let me know in comments. And in the next part, we are probably going to look at uh, settings for the battle or for the emitter or however you want to call it.